essential means something very specific in nutrition. Okay? It actually means the following. It means that this is a substance, we've called it essential, that you need. So your body actually needs it to stay normally healthy. Okay? So it does something essential in your body, that's where the essential part comes from, but you don't make it yourself. Okay? So that's the key. You don't make it. You have to get it from somewhere else. You have to get it from food. You have to get it from some kind of outside source. And you have to get it on a really regular basis. Ideally daily, but it may, if not daily, really close to daily. Okay, so that's what essential means. And if we don't get our essential nutrients on a pretty regular basis, bad things happen. <laughs> so the ranging from you feeling fatigued and tired to really bad things like death. So that's kind of the range of bad things that happen. So we have a set of fats that are actually essential, and omega-3s are part of that family of fats. So there's actually two families that are essential. One are omega-3s, one are omega-6s. Most people in America do a really great job of getting omega-6s. You will almost never see us supplement omega-6s because they are so widespread in our diets that the chance of anybody ever having a, a low level of omega-6 intake is extremely rare. But omega-3s are sources of them tend to be things like um, certain fatty nuts, high fat fish like salmon or uh, mackerel or things like that. And we don't tend to generally as, um, as a, a society do nearly as well at getting the amounts of them as we need. So I already told you they're essential. <laughs> so um, when we don't have enough of them, um, things can go wrong. And most of the things that go wrong with omega-3 deficiency after you get out of sort of, so, so little tiny babies need them to develop their brains. So there's a lot of these things that come through breast milk or if, you, if you're uh, bottle feeding a, a baby with formula, you'll see there always has omega-3s in there because it's very important for the development of the brain and the eye and some other things in rapidly growing babies. But as we get older, they continue to both be important for the brain. So they're studying omega-3s for problems of memory and aging, for eye problems, their low omega-3s are associated with things like macular degeneration, so still important for the brain and the eye. Um, actually, I had, did anybody know Daniel Amen's work? Anybody heard of Daniel Amen? He has a yes. show on PBS, right? I was with him yesterday. <laughs> Privilege of being with Daniel Amen yesterday. He's a, a huge, one of the top brain experts in the world. And um, they're using for people who've had like, like post-concussion syndrome and things, very high levels, like five, six grams a day of omega-3 fatty acids for healing post-concussion system. They're getting some remarkable results. They're doing some other things too, but so very important for brain tissue. Also very important for the heart and cardiovascular system. So important that some people's cardiologists now actually prescribe them. There's actually a drug now called Lavaza, which is a prescription form of fish oil. It's exactly what it is. The prescription form of the oils that we take out of fish that is used to do things like lower triglycerides, which are one of the fats in the blood. So very important for the heart and cardiovascular system. And they also do a host of other things. They're important for your skin, and they're important for certain areas of hormone regulation. Um, they're important for how we regulate inflammation in the body. So if you don't have enough omega-3s, people tend to have more problems with pain, more problems with inflammation. Um, so the range, because they're essential, the range of what they do, you know, I always say I can't tell you all the functions of zinc because it's in like 235 enzymes in the body. So I hate talking about zinc deficiency because it does too many things. And omega-3 fatty acids are almost as big That's because they do so many things. So, um, you know, so deficiency is not known to be specific to bariatric surgery. I will say that maybe with really malabsorptive procedure, less like DS, which, you know, are, are very not common procedures, but intake tends to be low. Right? Not a lot of us go out and eat, you know, huge handfuls of, you know, walnuts every day or flax seeds or necessarily eat salmon every day. So um, it is really common that people will supplement them. So I'll tell you a couple things about supplementing them. Um, if you're buying capsules, the pills are often big. Okay? They're, they're often big. Um, there are chewable supplements available. We do one. There's a few others that are you know, gummies and other things that are out there for them. And the levels in those are often low. It's really hard, I will tell you, because I do product development, it's very hard to squeeze a lot of fish oil, which is still fish oil and still tastes like fish, into a chewable thing. And then there's liquids. And because these supplements have become so popular, you're also seeing them show up in other creative places. And so I'll tell you one of my personal biased favorites. I love omega-3 fortified eggs. I'm a huge fan. You get a little 70 calorie package of protein and they have come up with a very clever way to feed chickens so that those yolks end up really high in omega-3 fatty acids. 
And so it's just a lovely, if you're eating eggs as part of what you do, I think the, the top brand that's out there is Eglin's Best, but I think Trader Joe's has their own brand as well, and there's a few others. They don't pay me to say this. They're also the, the best tasting egg. I, I, I think for me, they've got beautiful, like bright orange yolks, because the yolk is really well nourished, and they just taste really good. Okay, now they should give me the, <laughs> I should get like a kickback for doing that. But, um, but they're really good. You can find yogurts now that are omega-3 fortified. So what I tend to encourage people is look for diverse ways. If you're not a big fish eater especially, look for some good diverse ways you can get them in your diet and try to do it every day if you can. Actually, I have that? a box of those on my desk. You do? I, I, I heard, I heard, I heard that, that today that you munch on that. I, I munch on those. I don't yeah, love you do. Do. Okay. It's too full of omega-3s I have. So, um, so I've taken up all my time that you've given me already. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, so I'm going to let you talk.